What's up guys, Jesus Quesadilla here. Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. We're here with our eighth episode of the series. Thanks for uh, deciding to check this one out. In the last episode, we dealt with Marty J. Williams and silenced him for good in a way that, well, it was a little anticlimactic, but oh so satisfying. So um, we're here today at the Escobar International Airport. You guys may recognize this location as the place where you land in the original Vice City when you're playing as Tommy Versetti. And, uh, yeah, we're here today to pick up a mysterious caller. I wonder who it might be. So we're going to kick things off here today with Jive Drive. And what the hell is that car doing? Learn to drive, asshole. What in the bluest of blue hells was that all about? Aw, oh, they're so sweet. Nice mullet. You like to people watch there, Victor? Hey, bro! <laughs> Let's. Hey! What are you doing here? You don't sound so pleased. I'm not so pleased. Thanks, bro. Who was you expecting? What a greeting, man. Not you. Someone useful. So what am Ooh, I? Ooh, sick hey, burn. Yeah, Save the water for that one. That was a chemical burn. Night, Damn. Something like that. Yeah, well. I'm not the one who got kicked out of the army. No, you're the asshole who got kicked out of the Boy Scouts. Oh, come on, So man. I leave a little old lady in the come middle on, of the road when I'm supposed to be walking her across. Like it happened house. one time. Get off my back. Your whole life, you've gotten us into trouble. Oh, give me a break, man. I've changed. Hmm, not sure if serious. Okay, I'll give you a chance. One chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, come here, man. <laughs> you regret it, baby. I love you, man. And love can change the world. But Vic. What? I have got herpes. Get Ooh, off. Ooh. Nasty. Get your damn car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, well that's Lance Vance, guys. He'll be here all week. All the Cholos have been looking for you, Mr. Big Shot. What the hell is a Cholo? What do you want with me? I'm not talking to you. I'm oh, talking shit. to him. You kill plenty cholos. What the hell is a cholo? Now we kill you plenty. Damn it. I knew making all those cholo jokes was going to come back to bite me in the ass. Oh, God. Okay, let's do this thing. All right, guys. Our first on-rail shooting segment of the game. And I'm warning you guys now, if you're playing along, this is a really, really tricky mission. And I remember this quite clearly. Um, I got hung up on this mission a number of times when, back when I was playing this game for the first time on the PSP. Um, just some combination of the PSP controls not being that great, and also just this mission being incredibly difficult for one reason or another. It may just be that there are too many cholos or that your car doesn't take enough damage. But, um, I, rem I remember being stuck on this mission for the longest time. So let's go ahead and see if I can do any better at it now. Um, oh my god, oh my god, take this guy out. Um, rather than shooting the cars that come after you, you're going to want to try and pop the driver if you can. Um, or the gunman, either way. But taking uh, the time to actually shoot the car and make it blow up isn't the most efficient way of getting rid of the Cholos. You're better off trying to kill the driver and the passenger by uh, shooting through the window or popping the tires or, you know, whatever. But, um... We're doing pretty good here. We've hardly sustained any damage, and I think we're almost at the end of the on-rail segment. Oh, come on, take this last guy out. Oh my god, oh my god, there's plenty of them. Cholo's gonna die. Whoa, nice jump there, buddy. Okay, there's gonna be guys posted along the way here, and I think, yep, one right up above. If I could hit him. My aim is not the best, so please forgive me for that, but it's doing okay. Oh my god, get out of the way, asshole. Okay, I think we're coming up on the finish right about here. When you see these guys all parked here, three of them all in a row there, you know you're almost done because we're going to make one final jump to end off the on-rail segment. All right. In true badass Dukes of Hazards fashion. I was kind of hoping that car would explode, but... Uh... Oh, hey, did you guys hear that in the background? It did. Cool beans. Alrighty, so now the mission's not over yet. We gotta fend off the waves of attacking Cholos, and oh goody, Lance has a health bar. Because having allies you have to protect is so much fun in these kinds of games, isn't it? Alright, so let's go ahead and take off these guys who are moving in real close on the front right now. Um, 
It'd be nice if I could pick up an Uzi from one of them. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that right here. Let's get rid of this guy. Lance, you just stay here and look pretty. Take you out. And it looks like there's one more guy back there. Do be careful, you have a wanted level, so don't get busted by the cops. By 5-0. Oh god, right on Q, too. Alright, let's see. What car do I want to take? Uh, maybe that Cholo car. That'll have to do. Alright, come on. Get in here. Get in here. Burning daylight. Alright, at this point, we are pretty much home free. We gotta get Lance um, to his hotel room, I believe. Whoa. So, um, if you want to take the time, you can stop at a pain spray and lose the heat. But I'm not too concerned with that. If I see one along the way, I may swing in there just to lose the wand level. But, uh, two stars isn't too bad. You can generally avoid the police pretty easy with only two stars. Things don't get too hectic until you get to three stars. So, we're looking pretty good right now. Although I have to say that the handling on these Cholo cars isn't the best in the world, but that's alright. We just gotta make it down here, and his hotel, I believe, is gonna be kind of close to where Ammunition is, so just aim for that part of uh, downtown. Anyway, guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Whoa, dodging the authorities there. But uh, I hope you're all doing well. I actually have quite a bit of a headache right now. I popped, like, three or four Advil this morning, and my headache's finally starting to die down a little bit. Enough for me to go ahead and record an episode, but, um... Yeah, I got a tetanus shot the other day, and just the side effects of it haven't been too nice to me. I got a, a slight fever, um, a little bit of a headache. The place where they gave it to me in my arm is kind of sore, so just kind of recovering from that, but had to get it. I really hope that you guys are doing a lot better than I am right now, because uh, it's not the funnest thing in the world. But playing some Grand Theft Auto is a good way to kick back and relax. This place ain't cheap. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I told them to bill you. Oh, you asshole. Yep, that's the Lance Vance I remember. Alright, so mission passed. I believe we're going to get a quick phone call here. Or, uh, sorry, not a phone call, but a little text message. So let's just go ahead and wait a second for that to come up. Alrighty. What's the news? Umberto, so, you're running Marty's gang now. Yep, sure am, although I'm not going to call it Marty's gang anymore. So we need to talk. Alright, so we can now take missions from Umberto, who you guys might remember from the original Vice City. And, uh, ooh, we got a payday coming into us, too. Um, I'm actually gonna run down and take a mission from Louise. Um, she still has one mission left that we have to do before we can move on to helping out Lance. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. I'm also gonna put Umberto's missions on the back burner right now. We will get to those eventually, because I believe they are required to move forward with the story, but, um... I'm gonna put those on pause and help out Louise, whatever her problem might be. And boy, that woman has a lot of problems, so it really could be anything. But yeah, excited because we're almost on the weekend here, guys. It's Thursday evening when I'm recording this, uh, so I'll probably get to you guys sometime Friday in all likelihood. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I know some of you are probably out for summer break or anything like that, or maybe you just don't work on Fridays or go to school, but, uh, you know, weekends are always a good time, so... Hey, Louise, anyway, hose the hose. Thank God you're here. I just heard your cat house is going up in flames. Are the girls what? okay? Did Marty's inbred family do this? I'll be right down. Oh, you are you kidding me? This guy is still haunting me from beyond the grave. Don't worry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up with the Cholo attack? Oh, I guess uh the Cholos are not gonna leave us alone. Alright, let's go ahead and take their car. Or is that the car that I just no, that's the car I just got here in, my bad. I have such a short term memory. Okay, so we gotta get to the girls and put out the fire that, uh, one of Marty's family members started. I guess they heard that we killed the little creep and so they're all coming out of the woodwork to avenge him, but, uh, we're gonna be hot on their trail. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fire truck here. Not the funnest vehicle to drive, admittedly, but, uh, we'll have to do because we need the fire hose. And we're just gonna run those firefighters over there, my bad. And uh, we gotta make our way over to the brothel that we now own. It's not Marty's brothel anymore. And you guys can see we can shoot water from our uh, from our nozzle there on top of the fire truck. I don't think that fire trucks really work that way, do they? Do they all have like these water cannons on top of them? It's kind of cool. Imagine winning a super soaker war with that thing. But um, anyway, just go ahead and keep uh, the beam targeted. Whoa, crap! Those cars blowing up is not a good thing. Crap! 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 Okay, we do not want that happening. Uh, the girl's life is getting pretty dangerously low there. Just keep the water on the spots where you can see fire. 
Um, if you see white smoke coming out, that means you're doing what you should be doing. So just keep it in those areas, and oh my god, this is going to be close. Fingers crossed, guys. I don't want to have to redo this easy of a mission. My god. I think we've almost got just a couple more flames to put out. Oh god, can they just run out of there? Oh, come on, come on. It's down to the wire. One more little flame to put out. Did we do it? I'm not sure if we failed it or not. That's oh, phew, coming. okay. He did it, Vic! Get him! Bastard's got six toes! Hey, you! Uh, does that mean on one foot, or does that mean he's missing four toes? Uh, anyway. Go ahead and chase him up there. We're gonna take you out, sucker. Wow, that was a lot easier than I expected. And, cool, 300 bucks. Always nice to have. And, uh, what's this message gonna tell us? Ant Enid. I hear you've got a girl. Oh, what, uh, don't tie me down to one person. Don't spend all your money on her. You've got family obli- Oh my god, woman. Is that all I am to you? Am I just a paycheck? Anyway, let me take this opportunity real quick to show you guys what your assets look like after you've acquired them. Um, all of them will have a save point and one of these little markers that you can step in to either develop or repair your building. So, um, since ours almost got burned down, I'm guessing we need to repair it probably. So yeah, 500 bucks to repair the business, nothing too bad. So let's go ahead and do that because, uh, if the business is damaged, that means you aren't going to be able to generate money from it. So we don't like that. And uh, while it's being repaired, you'll have like those fences up around it and uh, you can't really do anything with it. But we're just going to let that be and after a little bit of in-game time, it'll be all repaired and ready to go. Anyway, uh, oh, looks like we have one more mission for Louise. Uh, I got a couple minutes here. Let's go ahead and see if we can do one more mission over there before we end off the episode. And uh, I think that'll be the last mission for her for a while. I know that we'll probably take some more from her later on in the game, but this is the last one in her strand for the present. You know, all things considered, I have to say, um, I haven't played all the way through Vice City Stories, but at least from what I can tell and from what I remember, this game has a pretty interesting cast of characters. I mean, it might just be that so many of Vice City characters are reprised, and I really enjoyed a lot of them, but um, we've got a colorful crew here. I mean, between Lance now in town and doing stuff with Louise, which is always a blast, Robin the Cradle... Vic. Welfare said I was a bad mother. Their man said no he was shit. Take Beth off me and I mean, you I only left your baby him, alone so him. you could go to some stupid quad race. Take care of him. What? Killing him is gonna make things worse. When's this happening? Well, kinda right now. Great. Did I do wrong? How was I to know better? You know what? That's a fair point. You didn't go to high school. I don't really blame you. Oh well, Vic, you're the man. You gotta do this. Step up, man. All right, so the welfare guy, we've got a little meter counting down there. That's his health, because apparently she hired a hitman to take him out. So uh, we gotta go and prevent that from happening, but at the same time, scare off the welfare man ourselves. So, uh, kind of a tricky mission here. So let's see, we should be coming up him any second now. And the first thing we're going to want to do is focus on the hitman and take Somebody him out. Help! So uh, that'll be the guy with the pinkish-red marker above him. Let's just go ahead and do a quick drive-by here. Pull over, buddy. Oh, wow, that was really convenient. <laughs> we boxed him into a corner there. Okay. And let's get him just to the point where he's about to explode. And back off. And if the explosion doesn't kill those guys, we can just run them over. All right, easy cheese. All right, so now that's not the entire mission, though. We have to catch up to the welfare guy and um, do a little bit of damage to his car, just enough that he gets scared. Um, not sure if I should be firing my gun at him. I might ram his car a few times instead, but I don't know. Well, let's find out. Can, can I get away with that? Uh, didn't look like ramming the car stopped him. Maybe I will have to shoot at him. Anyway, in completely unrelated news, uh, the new Animal Crossing game is coming out pretty soon. I think it comes out this Sunday. I am pretty damn excited for that uh, new leaf on the 3DS, and uh, I can't imagine that too many people watching this video are the same kind of people who would want to play Animal Crossing in the first place, but uh, I am one of those people who has very eclectic taste in video games. I play a little bit of everything, and so uh, I'm kind of thinking about buying the, uh, the 3DS bundle that comes with the special edition 3DS with Animal Crossing designs on it. 
Um, I am a really big fan of that series, and if there was some way for me to uh, capture the 3DS footage, I'd probably do a Let's Play of it. But uh, sadly, I don't have any kind of technology that would enable me to capture a handheld device, so can't really do that. But I just think it's kind of cool that I can enjoy a variety of games. I mean, you got games like this that are good for relieving stress because you can run around and basically do whatever. But at the same time, Animal Crossing is a great game. Just, uh, you know, play 10 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, depending how much time you have. And uh, it definitely has a certain charm and an addictive quality to it. Anyway, I'm going to get one last message here from Louise, it looks like. Vic, I just wanted to say thanks. Don't be a stranger. Oh, I will not. Don't you even worry about that, baby doll. But anyway, guys, looks like it's time to end off the episode here. I just want to thank you one last time for joining me today. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to subscribe if you've not already done so. And that way you can stay updated when I post new videos to my channel. Anyway, until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!